Are you okay? What's that smell? It smells like sizzling bacon. At the first sign of trouble, the scan will be stopped. Looks like a looks like a T-bone steak. Yeah. An MRI scan targets the body's billions of hydrogen atoms. The atoms line up with the strong magnetic field and are then bombarded by radio waves. The radio waves are absorbed by the atoms and the resulting signal sent to a computer, which turns the data into a 2D image. Is there any distortion in the image or sign of the tattoo? No. No? Scotty's arm full of ink is still intact. No pain, no discomfort, no explosion. Oh, you're looking all right. But of course, the tattoo myth ain't busted yet. The build teams barely scratch the surface. We still have to bust this myth. It looks like we're going to have to do some experiments. We're going to have to get the compounds that go into all of these pigments and test them individually to find out what could cause any sort of irritation or explosion. So what goes into tattoo ink? The pigments are a potpourri of chemical compound, including iron oxide, zinc oxide, and titanium dioxide. So the theory is, is the metallic components that are used in tattoo pigments have been having some reactions with the MRI magnetic field. So what we have here are a couple of those components. We have iron oxide, we have the copper and the zinc, and the mercury. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to expose some of these materials to a strong electromagnetic field. We can see if the pigments line up with the magnetic field. Secondly, if uh, the theory is that there's sort of a current being induced, we have a voltmeter to check for that. And of course, if the pigments are creating some sort of excitation in the skin and heating it, we have a thermometer to check and see if there's any temperature difference. Which compound is the culprit? One by one, they're tested. Okay. Copper and zinc. But only one, iron oxide, reacts to the magnetic field. After all of that testing, it looks like iron oxide is definitely the culprit here. I mean, you could see it just moving over the magnetic field. It would line up. Well, we still need to make a tattoo explode. So what I'm thinking is we'll make our own ink. Mix in some iron oxide, make it a thick batch, and then tattoo someone. I figured you'd be the good no. person who would try it on. No, 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 right. no, no. The junior Mythbusters are trying to make tattoo ink that will explode in an MRI. They're going shopping for art supplies at the butcher's. We need some pork. But it, pork? Yeah, but it has to have the skin left on it. Okay. Oh, oh. Look at that. Off the skin. So what's it going to be, the leg or the belly? Don't ask me, I'm a vegetarian. I would say we should go with the belly. I mean, it's like a nice big canvas that we can draw. It's probably a little more tender as well. Hey, look, it still has little hairs on it. This is my old friend, Maddie, and he is responsible for the new ink on my arm. Welcome, Maddie. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And he's here today. He's going to show us how to tattoo on our pig. All right. Hey, Maddie, you ever tattoo a pig before? <laughs> no, I never tattooed a pig. I was told to try pig ears when I was learning how to tattoo, but I never tried a pig. I used my own leg. Matty's heard the MRI myth too. I don't think that it's true because I would hear a lot more about people coming back to the tattoo parlors and being like, what happened to my tattoo? <laughs> but I've never heard anybody come into a tattoo parlor and say, I went and got an MRI and my tattoo exploded. <laughs> you know, I think that would be pretty big news. The pork is cut into portions. Matty will use two different inks, a regular tattooing pigment and a special brew full of iron oxide, the one compound that reacted to the electromagnet. So Matty, here's the ultra metallic Check it out, see if you think the consistency is good enough. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right, it's time to get some pigment into this pig. It's kind of gross. <laughs> You're not getting near my arm. <laughs> You're not getting near me with that thing. Carrie, it might be safer if you stick to felt tip. 
see if there's any change near it. Definitely credit cards and stuff again. Make sure you don't wear a wallet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I have bobby pins in. I can feel that, too. <laughs> Back at the MRI machine, the super iron oxide ink takes on a life of its own. The container is suddenly sucked right into the core. Now this is... So that ain't gonna work? Yeah, that ain't gonna work. That was completely nutty. The iron oxide got completely sucked into the magnet. Yeah, the box flew right off. And, uh, that was pretty cool. Thank goodness we taped the top. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think they let us come back. The pork bellies are primed for scanning. OK, so this is our special Mythbusters Super Iron Oxide Ink. So if anyone's going to explode, it's going to be this one. There's a glitch on the image. The heavy iron oxide content seems to be having an effect. So you think that what we tattooed is actually making an interference mm -hmm. on your scan? Definitely. But it's not explosive. Well, it didn't explode. So go ahead and blot it and see if any of the pigments came up. No. No. No pigments been pulled to the surface. All right. So next one we're going to do is the traditional iron oxide, what you normally find in a regular tattoo parlor. The iron oxide in the regular ink also interferes with the scan, but the effect is much smaller. But in the end, Scotty, Tori, and Carrie are left with chunks of unexploded tattooed pork. All right, Scotty, exploding tattoos, tell us what you came up with. Well, clearly iron oxide is the culprit here. Iron oxide definitely reacts to the magnetic field, and it's very common in a lot of tattoo inks. But at most, it's going to cause heating. There was one case of a blister with the operators that we talked to, but it's not going to explode. So you're telling us there was no exploding tattoo? No, Jamie, I know that disappoints you, but I'm a little relieved about that. So myth confirmed, plausible? Myth busted, I'm saying. <laughs>